Oh boy, the knee-jerk reactions are in full effect. Here are three ADP fallers right now in fantasy drafts. At number one, let's head on down to SoCal and talk about Melvin Gordon of the San Diego Chargers. Very uneventful pro debut for the rookie out of Wisconsin. Just six carries, 11 yards. Good news, he missed uh, the first tackler most time. Bad news, he was swarmed under immediately after doing so. The offensive line for San Diego, the first team offensive line in particular, still a work in progress. One of the worst run blocking units in the league last year. There's a lot of talent there and I think they can mesh quickly. That still remains a major question mark overall. Now, Gordon is a guy that's been traditionally going around pick 30, 35 in drafts so far. You are overpaying for his services. The other thing that came out of that game, Danny Woodhead poached the goal line at an eight yard touchdown in that contest. I think that's gonna be a prevalent theme throughout most of the year, not only inside the 20 yard line, but also on third downs and passing downs. Woodhead is going to be an integral part of this offense as a whole. I think the ceiling for Gordon in year one is around 1,100 combined yards with six touchdowns, pass him up, in round three. The second ADP faller, CJ Anderson of the Denver Broncos. People are pushing the panic button after he rolled an ankle against the Seattle Seahawks up in the great Northwest. Uh, he was had a very uneventful uh, preseason debut as well, but still there's a lot to like about CJ Anderson. I think this is overreaction at its best. A guy that's going in the latter half of round one, and deservedly so. He was a number two ranked running back with the final 10 regular season games on a per game basis last year. Uh, he's a player that is the ultimate workhorse, and we know what Gary Kubiak likes to do. He likes to feature one back. We saw with Arian Foster in Houston. We saw it last season with Justin Forsett. A similar story will be written about Anderson this year for the Denver Broncos. I think he's going to get upwards of 320 total touches. Uh, could go for around 16 to 1,700 combined yards and 10 to 12 scores. Continue to buy him all day in the back half of round one. And if he slips to round two, that's a gift. Finally, sticking with another CJ. How about CJ Spiller of the New Orleans Saints, a guy who's going to miss the rest of the preseason after having a minor knee procedure. Now, I'm not worried, uh, you know, extensively about his situation. Uh, I think he's a player that can bounce back quickly, although he may be eased in the first couple of weeks of the regular season, but still, particularly in a PPR setting, he's worth every penny around his pick number 45 overall ADP. However, I expect that number to dip a little bit, maybe as low as 50. 55 on an average draft basis. Spiller is a perfect fit for this Sean Payton offense. A guy that's got to see a lot of run in the short field as a receiver and occasionally as a rusher between the pipes and that kind of Pierre Thomas hybrid role. I still think there's 70, 70 catch upside for him this season. And don't forget, in his career on the fake grass, he's averaged a stout 5.2 yards per carry continue to buy the spiller hype train for more spicy fantasy takes log on to our rotor k blog at fantasy sports.yahoo.com